I want to tell a story about one time my mom's arm was killed in a community meeting. So one day, um, I heard there was someone I was going with named Nick. He was inviting someone from 500 West Oak. I heard he had just got killed. By the time we got to my building, 1160, where the Coma Stones was, once I was one part of that gang too as well when I was young. Um, when, something, when something crazy happened, we were here shooting, I knew it was time for me to get home. I knew my mom would be very worried about me. And, it, and, and I didn't want to have my mom worry and worry about me. Well, I heard there was someone in my neighborhood that just got killed. His name was Nick. So <clears throat> I'm walking back to my projects. So I, I like to hang with, my, with, with this, some of my friends. They was on the Cedric Street. They were Blackstones. I just hang with them a lot. A lot of my friends tried. Mo, Pookie Lau. A lot of guys grew up with a green green, Tran. So I decided to go home because I knew it was a killing over by, by the projects, my building, and it was Black Nick. So I knew I was heading home. So when I get home, my elevator's not working in my building. So I, I think I'm walking up the steps. I hear a woman crying. I'm like, who is the lady crying? As I get closer and closer, Oh, she coming down and said, I'm coming up to the I get to the third floor, I'm running to the woman. It was my mom. She thought I was killed. Black Nate instead of Black Nate. My mom grabbed me. She dug in my skin. She held me so hard. For like 45 minutes, would not let me go. Crying, hugging me. I'm literally digging in my skin. Saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was so glad to be there that day. I was so glad to be in the arm. I knew she loved me. She never had to tell me again from that day on. But I was glad to be there, man, because my mom thought I was getting there. And she was finna go over to the black top where Black Nick was killed, where I was supposed to be laying down at. And it would have been dangerous for her to run out there. She probably got shot again. She probably she would have got shot probably herself by being in that danger zone. And that's when the, the vine stones and the stones and the genies separated. And there was a lot of them turmoil on the black top. Everybody know about the black top in the green. People lost their lives over there, man. And um, it was dangerous. I just wanted to share that story with everyone that my mom thought I was dead and she ran into me in the hallway and grabbed me, held on to me for a dear life and wouldn't let me go for 45 minutes. And then when she finally let me go, she smacked the mess out of me. She said, get your butt upstairs. I said, bro, I didn't do that, bro. But I understood what she was coming from. For, for three days straight, man, I couldn't go outside. I was kind of on the punishment, but I understood my mom was my world, and to make her feel comfortable, I was willing to do whatever I had to do to make her feel at ease. Because back then, Community Green, there was a lot of shit going on. There was a lot of deaths, man. Murder was real. If you got caught, you died. And that's how it was coming up in Community Green. I'm letting you share that story with anyone. Nick Jones, sorry. Many more.